we having a racial reckoning, man. And you would never know that all this was going on, man, in the country, man. Don't worry, man. We're gonna get to the um black the black woman who got killed by the cop, man. We just want to see some other things that's going on in this country, man. Um, it's a huge country, and we we feel like it don't here, man. At least press one, man. We we feel like it's only right, man, that we cover a lot of things, man. Here, man. Um, nowhere else, man. Nowhere else. And I mean nowhere else. But here we we feel like, you know, you gotta cover the whole picture, man. You know, you gotta see what's going on with everybody, man. We we care about that 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 sister, man, who was so loved, man, and had so many supporting people, man, when she died, man. And every she had a, a, a family full of loving and supporting people that was around her in her final days and months, man. Um that lovely sister Sonia Massey was surrounded by loved ones and had um, support from the entire family, man, as we can see by everybody popping out now and standing at press conferences with Ben Crump. We could tell all those people was supporting her the whole time, man. Um, but we want to focus on some other people, man. Um, this the People's Channel, man. We don't just... We don't just focus on one person, man. We're going to get to Sonya, man. Don't get me wrong. We're going to get to Sonya a little later, man. I promise you, man. Two young men are charged with capital murder for the shooting death of an 18-year-old near downtown Dallas. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. I'm Steve Eager. Police say the man were looking to rob the victim. Arrest paperwork says Isaiah Simmons. So they were looking to rob people, man. And they ended up killing somebody, man. I must admit, man, I'm shocked, man. Looking at this, looking at these mug shots, I am shocked, man. And make sure you take the $5 challenge or the $10 challenge via PayPal, Cash, and Super Chat. Support the channel, man. Um, Support local news, man. Channel, man. Support the channel, man. Um, yeah, man. Support the channel, man. Let's 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 see let's see uh, what's going Two on. Two young men are charged with capital murder for the shooting death of an 18-year-old near downtown Dallas. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. I'm Steve Eager. Police say the man were looking to rob the victim. Arrest paperwork says Isaiah Simmons and Christopher Gaines chased down the victim. Two teenage girls were previously arrested for murder, and police are still looking for a fifth suspect. Fox Force David Centenary is in Dallas tonight with a story, David. Well, a Dallas police affidavit says the victim was trying to run away from being robbed, but then he was shot in the back. 18-year-old Isaiah Simmons and 19-year-old Christopher Gaines now charged with capital murder in the shooting death of an 18-year-old man they were randomly trying to rob in Dallas's Victory Park, according to arrest affidavits. It just don't look like a place where someone would want to come and try to rob someone. The shooting happened in the early morning. There's no place on God's green earth where these guys ain't trying to rob somebody, sister. 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 Everywhere you look, they trying to rob someone. These the robbingest people that ever robbed, man. 
I don't believe these sisters say stupid stuff like this. Davis. It just don't look like a place where someone would want to come and try to rob someone. The shooting happened. Come on, sister. Come on. Shout out to Jimmy Moltisanti, man. One of these related to um Christopher Moltisanti. Christopher. He said, hey, I, have you covered the true identity of the Negroes on YouTube? Our sons just cursed. Is this issue biblical? Worth the watch. Uh, it's DNA, man. <laughs> Salute to you, man. Oh, shout out to you, man, for trying to, you know, find answers, man. It's DNA, though, man. Trying to rob in Dallas's Victory Park according to arrest affidavits. It just don't look like a place where someone would want to come and try to rob someone. The shooting happened in the early morning hours of July 14th at the intersection of Houston Street and Novitsky Way, centered around the American Airlines Center restaurant. Man, they turned Dirk Novitsky Way into Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue, man. Oh, yeah, Dirk, you got a black wife, though, man. Dirk, that's what you get for having a black wife, man, for, for being down with the brown, man. They done turned your 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 street into Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue, man. Ain't that a bitch? In the early morning hours of July 14th at the intersection of Houston Street and Novitsky Way, centered around the American Airlines Center, restaurants, and more. I wouldn't think that would happen over here. According to police, Simmons, Gaines, and a group of people were driving a vehicle they stole during a robbery carjacking earlier that day. They unsuccessfully tried to rob someone else and then rolled upon a group of people near the AAC. They sent two teenage girls who were with them to distract the group. I have heard of people yeah. like using females to actually get to people. Then Simmons and Gaines ran up on them. 18-year-old Jake Reynosa ran, but police say Simmons shot Reynosa in the back. Surveillance video captured the crime. You know, it's early hours of the morning, someone being killed over a cell phone. You know, you think we're past times like that. The black Albert Einstein, man. Nah, better yet, Don King Jr., man. Don King's son, man. Only in America the crime you know it's early hours of the morning someone being killed over a cell phone you know you think we're past times like that russell wilson is a former prosecutor and current criminal defense attorney not connected to this case we asked for his take about the two teenage girls who allegedly admitted to police they were trying to rob people they are also charged with capital murder they'll receive a lot of protections of the juvenile system for example their names won't be disclosed and the punishment that they ultimately face is significantly less than those who are adults. According to police, Simmons, who pulled the trigger, admitted to his family he was trying to rob people. His family took him to interview with police this past weekend before he was charged. Fox 4 spoke with a family member of Reynosa, the 18-year-old who was killed and robbed of his cell phone. That family member says he was in Dallas hanging out with friends. I know it's not going to be easy, but I hope that they're able to find peace with it. Dallas PD is still searching for a fifth suspect. That's the getaway driver, according to an affidavit. Now, Simmons' bond is $1 million and Gaines' bond is $2 million, but it's unclear why Simmons' bond is half of that $2 million. Man, we, let's just be happy that they got a bond, man. Um, Usually sons get...